The Culture Proof Conference is coming to Bartlett, Tennessee. Man. That is just outside of the Almost Memphis here. area. And we are super excited about it. If you're yes. not registered, now is the time to get registered. As yes. you look at the protests that are breaking out all across this country, you've got people barricading themselves inside classrooms. You've got people setting up encampments and feeling like they're entitled to do it. Well, joining us uh, is Dr. Renton Rathbun. And Dr. Rathbun is the director of the Biblical Worldview the Center for Biblical Worldview at Bob Jones University. And, you know, as a secular professor, he encountered some of these kids, these kids who feel entitled, these kids who feel like they are only willing to defend their parents' religion in as much as it doesn't cost them anything. Um, and he's going to be speaking to some of our young people at this conference. So if you've got um, a early adult, young adult, um, what do you call working class adult, maybe they're not yet married, um, and don't have children, uh, they're going to want to participate in this Culture Proof Conference. We're really excited that God has equipped us to respond to what is happening in the culture. So we hope that you'll go to the website, cultureproof.net, and learn more about the conference, see who's speaking, think about what some of those topics are, and whether or not you and your family will benefit from this. Yeah, and don't forget about our children's track. You know, we know that uh, they are making the decisions right now at the age that they are in to follow the Lord. You know, mm -hmm. their biblical worldview is being shaped. Their worldview is being shaped. And so we have a powerful uh, children's track, teens track. Uh, you're not going to want to miss that. You, you, this is something for the whole family, yeah. for the whole family. And we want to minister to the whole family. We understand uh, that the world understands that children <laughs> are needed mm -hmm. uh, to carry out what they desire for them to do. We know for the kingdom of God, he want, he, God wants the children to be a part of what he's uh, going to do in the earth as well. So go to cultureproof.net, cultureproof.net. Oh, man, now is the time to register. Now is the time to register. Registration uh, will be ending soon. And so you want to make sure that you go to cultureproof.net and get your tickets for the Culture Proof Conference. We believe it's going to be an encouraging time for you and hundreds of other believers who will be on site yes. at Faith Baptist Church in July, July 18th through the 20th. We want to see you there. As my husband said, cultureproof.net cultureproof.net get registered and tell a friend thanks for checking out culture proof i'm miki and i'm will and it's time for the friday news hall which is the uh time of the week where we just kind of like survey some news headlines yes. and pull those out it, it, they're not all that serious some of them are mm -hmm. but they kind of fall into the category of you know maybe something that we wouldn't talk about um ordinarily yeah yeah but leave it to us, though, because we can quickly <laughs> change that. We can make it something that we would talk about. Uh, we'll try not to do that. Uh, before we do, though, I want to say happy birthday to Will the Gray. Today oh, is Friday, May 17th. It is your birthday. Do you want to yes. share how old you are? Oh, 48. Okay. Yes. All right. So reflections. <laughs> like you have to reflect on, on your um, reflection today. Okay. You're 48 years old. God Amen. is good. Yeah. You know, um, there has been uh, a lot of things that I feel like I've grown in and there's a lot of things that I need to grow in. And mm -hmm. so I uh, look at 48 as an opportunity, as I look at pretty much every birthday yeah. as an opportunity for change. And so um, uh, as I submit uh, those things to the Lord, I just believe that I'm going to grow to be a better uh, Christian man, better husband, better father. Uh, and so that's what I'm looking forward to. Yeah, you know, it's interesting when you say you look at every year as an opportunity. And I have to say, because we are nearing uh, 20 years of marriage, and, and I think about like how how much I have seen you change and grow over the years as a man, as a husband, um, as a father. Mm -hmm. And and I think, man, you know, there's so much I feel like in our life and our experiences together that Man, I think if we didn't have Christ at the center mm -hmm. of everything that we're doing, even the ability to be able to talk through and and work through uh, understanding one another, yeah. and I, I feel like even giving each other the space to be able to grow, yeah, you know, I think that's hard mm -hmm. to give people the space to be able to grow because yeah. what we often want from the other, if you will is perfection mm, but yeah. then what we want for ourselves is grace right like we right. want to be able to grow but we don't often lead with extending that opportunity for growth to the that's other true. person that's true and that, i think that's part of uh you know in marriage context to becoming one you take two totally different people you know and 
uh, they become one. Yeah. But that takes time because, yeah. <laughs> you know, you have issues, you have different things that you've grown up doing. So even after almost 20 years, still growth mm-hmm. that, that's happening, still uh, compromise, still uh, learning to to love one another and to do the things that are selfless. So it's, it's a process, but praise God for life. Mm-hmm. Praise God for another year. And I'm looking forward uh, to what uh, God's going to do in this year. So. Do you feel like every year that you get older, when you look back on it? Okay. So, you know, Obviously, you've had some birthdays that fall into the category of, I remember those. You know what I mean? You have some that you probably can't remember. You may Uh, not remember turning one or two (laughs) or three, four or five. Uh, Right. Uh, Well, maybe five. Do you you remember five? You know, but I don't remember like 27. (laughs) <laughs> well, you know, that's okay. some. That's some. When you get older, it's like you know, whoa, uh, okay, 32. yeah, I can see that. Mm-hmm. I don't, you know, but yeah. So. Do you remember twenty eight? Do you remember turning twenty yes, eight? One hundred percent. What happened on your twenty eighth birthday? On my twenty eighth birthday. Well, when you turned twenty, I got married. You well, yeah, you got married at twenty eight. At twenty eight, yes. So that would have been December. Okay, so that May. Do you remember <laughs> that birthday? Okay, you don't. Oh. It's fine. No, that's totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh, that's that totally a party fine. Or? What? Oh my I, goodness. I I planned for you that and executed for you a surprise party. birthday party at your the parents' party. home. I didn't remember it was at twenty eight. Well, I don't know we in my were mind. engaged. Okay. Okay. Yes. That's the only reason I remember that it was twenty eight is because we were engaged <laughs> and we got married in I December. Twenty eight when we got married. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. That party, so I didn't remember that I was being twenty eight. But anyways, yes, that was it's great. fine. You had dreadlocks then. So <laughs> you had, you know, had your, hair. Hair, your hair was twisted no. tightly. So maybe that had something to do with it. Maybe anyway, so. <laughs> no, I think I think it's great, though. I, my question was going to be, mm-hmm. as you look back on some of the birthdays, maybe the years that you have celebrated, do you have one? And this I really yeah. want you to be as honest as you can without thinking about like, OK, I have to I have to say the right answer. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. OK, do you have one? year of life that you look back on and you go, man, you know, I just felt like that was a great year. I really enjoyed, wow. I enjoyed that year. <laughs> That's tough, right? That because, is tough. Because you, your brain is scanning yeah. all of the people and places. Right, right. Man, I don't know. I, I can't, I couldn't answer that right now. You know, that's a, mm-hmm. that's a pretty tough question, but man, praise God <laughs> for, you know, like the different experiences i believe that i i had on like birthdays and years you know like god is good you yeah. know god is good and um i i can't complain about anything but i can't pick out one year that i feel like you know oh yeah it was i think it would have to be honestly speaking um because it's, it's different periods of time so that that would be probably a year in the span that i was a, when i was younger like mm-hmm. you know teenager or you know, something, and I'm trying to remember what, but then as an adult, you know, it would have to be somewhere in my thirties. Yeah. yeah. I really feel like that time, you know, um, you know, being, I'm married now, you know, maybe, you know, when Mariah was, uh, like one, two, you know, around that time. Mm -hmm. And then Gabby was like, when when the kids were like, yeah, yeah. the the big three were the little three, yeah, (laughs) you know, stuff like that. Those, those times, even though they they were not easy Mm -hmm. because we had stuff going on, yeah, you know, I just really feel like, uh, learning to be a man and a husband and a father. Um, I was, I was learning, you know, a lot at that time. And I feel like, now having teenagers and young children, oh I'm still goodness. I'm learning something different. Every like it's, year. it's different what wow. I'm learning, you know, as opposed to then. So yeah, that's a tough question. I don't have just one I can point out, but uh that's a, that's a good question. Too. Well, happy birthday. Well, thank you. I'm so glad that Appreciate you were born. I'm glad that your mom went ahead and went on through <laughs> with it. She loves Praise to describe God. your labor and delivery. Well, her labor and delivery <laughs> of you. And it is hilarious because your mom is really reserved, like truly, <laughs> truly reserved and not really, you know, forthcoming with a lot of personal information. Yeah. My complete opposite. <laughs> I don't know how that happened to you. But but when she talks about... <laughs> <laughs> when she talks about your labor and delivery story, it's <laughs> it's just, you know, I don't know. Well, um, praise God. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad you made it. <laughs> I'm glad you made it. Thanks, uh, mom. 
Anyway, you should think about your mom on your birthday. <laughs> You should. You yeah, should. You're right. You're I'm right. asking you these questions about your memorable <laughs> birthdays. I should be asking, you know, did you call your mom yet? You need to call your mom. So anyway, um, I'm I really love you. Love and you I too. really appreciate you. I'm so Thank glad you. that you were born and <laughs> that you came to know Christ so that you were born Amen. a second time. Amen. And and then that you chose to marry me. Amen. And that's important. Um, that you chose to marry me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Um, I will say this though. You know, we're we're preparing a few shows mm. that we're going to talk about some really uh, heavy lifting topics. So make sure you check out the podcast next week because we're going to be talking about submission and talking about male dominance. There is a. I didn't even know this, but there is an online discussion that is happening about whether or not men are supposed to dominate their wives. I didn't know that was happening either. That's, I was like, wow, okay. It seemed like it came out of the blue, but I guess it's something that's been going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, we can talk about it, though. Let's talk about it when we, you know, next week. Let's so we're going to talk about that. Yeah. and Look and, into that. You know, submission or whatever. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Maybe that should <laughs> be the name of the whatever. podcast. That should be the name of that episode. Submission oh, or whatever. <laughs> no, I'm no. kidding. Totally kidding. But we are going to talk about it because it's a big deal yeah. and it's important and it deals with the kingdom of God. Mm. And so because of that, of course, you know, Culture Proof wants to show up and be there as a part of that conversation. So that's going to be happening next week. Um, hopefully you will find those episodes <laughs> and enjoy them. All right. Speaking of birthday, let's get into some news hauling. Are you ready? Yes. All right. So this first story here is a story that came from TikTok. And I found this mm. um, from People Magazine. So this woman was celebrating her birthday and had a birthday party at a restaurant. Restaurant, mm -hmm. Nothing, you know, out of the ordinary there. Yep. Um, but they brought in a birthday cake. Stop me when it starts to get like out of the I mean, ordinary. That's all, that's all good. Yeah. Same thing I was thinking. Yeah. Brought in a birthday cake. Um, they're enjoying their meal. And then the waiter says, would you like me to take the cake to the back and cut it and slice it up for you guys? Okay. All right. And so they're like, oh, okay, sure. You know, she and her party are like, yeah, you can take the cake and slice it up. So they bring the cake out and slice it and serve it and all of that. And they're like, Thanks, you know, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. Right. And then they get the check and they're getting ready to go and they see in the check or mm. on the check that they were charged a fee for cutting the cake. For cutting the cake. Ah. So they take the cake to the back and cut it and bring it out, but the fee on the check on the ticket $25. Wow. $25 okay. to slice and serve the cake. Hmm. Now, my question to you, okay. uh, yeah. fair or not? Okay. So I have a couple of thoughts about that. So I guess the waiter or the person thought that the party would know that there's a fee for that. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. But I think what the waiter should have done was say, okay, hey, would you like for us to take the cake to the back to cut it, you know, uh, it'll be it'll be a twenty five dollars yeah. <laughs> fee. But we'll 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 do that for you. Bring it back out, and and then the party could say, "Oh no, no, we yeah, got, we can give we, the we option, can cut, you know, um, give the option, you know." So I would say not fair because I feel like the party didn't have all the information, yeah. and they took for granted that maybe the party knew that there was a fee. Yeah. Now you know. For for um the waiter to take it back and to cut it and all that that's work it's part of work. it's it's work but yeah. you have to let people know I think up front in, in, there's a fee associated with it because if not yeah they think you're just doing it as part of like oh that birthday you know yeah for, out of the kindness birthday, of your little heart yeah that there are things that happen for birthdays like they might bring you out a free little cake or something yeah so they might have thought like yeah some we sparkles or something we we cut cake for birthdays you know but. Not 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 fair. That is a very measured response. What you just gave there is a very measured response. And it's interesting because, you know, the person to whom this happened posted this on TikTok and of course got all kinds of responses. And there were some people who just took the one side that said, no, absolutely not. $25. I mean, come on, that's ridiculous. There's no way you should have been charged for slicing a cake. But then there were other people who said, well, they should have at least let you know. Um, and then one person said something that I didn't think about that you just said um, that they should have considered that, yeah, I mean, uh, you may not want to pay the fee, but you've got a person going the extra mile doing something. There are more dishes that are going to have to be washed. There's mm -hmm. a service that's being provided that's not included in just bringing your meal out. And so I think right. all of those things are things that are supposed to be taken into consideration. Yeah. 
But I think the big point here that you're making, and yeah. I agree with totally, is that you tell the person. You tell the person. Now, the party could have um, asked the question, is there a fee for that? You oh, know? see, but I, I feel like I don't that's think they, so... But it wouldn't mm, have entered into know. their mind, I don't think. It's a birthday. Yeah. Things usually are given at birthdays. Like, you know, restaurants, would, we bring some ice cream, whatever. So they might, they may have thought like, okay, well, yeah, that, yeah. that'd be great. That's, you know, thank you so much. But... Man, I, so I don't think it's fair just because they didn't know and the information wasn't was not given to them. Yeah, you know? I agree with so. that. You know, I've been having this discussion in school with uh, with JD, mm -hmm. and we were talking about how when you go to a restaurant, just talking about the way that uh, waiters and waitresses make their tips. You know, and how the higher the bill is, uh, the the better their tip is going to be because mm -hmm. you're going to tip on a percentage of that bill. You're going to tip a percentage of that bill, and and this is really interesting because you never think about how you learn um, or when you learn how the world works. Mm -hmm. You know, you just kind of you think you just pick it up, and maybe that's true for some people. You just pick it up, and then it becomes old hat. Mm -hmm. But when you are homeschooling the way that we're homeschooling, mm -hmm. you have an opportunity to intentionally teach your kids something. Mm -hmm. And so, interestingly enough, this week, as I, I came across this story, but this week we are talking about, you know, I guess living math is what it would be called. Yeah. So, like, what, not just how you teach percentages, but in this particular case, the percentage of your bill when you go to eat out and and can you spot if your waiter or waitress is trying to upsell you mm. so these are things that like i'm putting into his head and teaching him about the world that yeah he could learn along the way but mm -hmm. i have the benefit of doing that because we homeschool and so as we're talking about it he's like whoa I thought people just offered you those things because they were nice. Like, no, mm -mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> appetizers, desserts, mm -hmm. um, you know, add-ons, all of those things it tick costs. that bill up. Yeah. It, they tick that bill up. You know, you want a drink? Sure, you can have a five dollar drink that costs us twenty cents. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we're gonna. That's gonna be our margins, right? That's how we're gonna make our money. And so, as we're talking about this, I can see the light bulb going off mm -hmm. in his head. That it's like, whoa, like we. This is. I thought they were nice. Mm -hmm. They are nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And, right. and, you know, and so we had a conversation about, do you guys always tip or do you have like a baseline? What, how much do you tip? When do you tip? And all of these things. And it's just a really great conversation. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking about it in light of this story. Yeah. Like, I, I'm kind of curious. I wonder what he's going to think about being charged $25 to cut a cake. So my question is, what do we know what the people did? Were they like outraged? Like the, the party? Yeah, did, no. The, did they... So this woman who was celebrating her birthday, I mean, she said, I'm happy to pay the fee. And mm. I think they did pay the fee. Okay. But of course, she took to TikTok to <laughs> talk to, about it. <laughs> to drag. I'm going to pay this, post her grievance. we're going to talk about this on social media. Yeah, it's amazing because TikTok <laughs> is like Wittenberg. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, here's where you go to, you know, post your grievance but wow. anyway um yeah she she um she paid it yeah. but her grievance was kind of what you're saying yeah. just tell me yeah like tell me right. that there's going to be a fee involved and then i'll I'll pay that but yeah it was right wow. there listed we'll put a, a screenshot of the ticket up on so if you're watching on youtube you'll be able to see the fee breakdown <laughs> wow but you know twenty five dollars yeah and that makes that brings that bill up and Man, then you're gonna tip bring it up that. yeah i mean you already have a so there's multiple people is like a party it's celebration a, yeah. type thing and you add twenty five dollars to that man i want you know questions that i just have in my mind you know the, that probably affected the tip of the, of the you know well it, yeah Oh, I mean, I hate that. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you know, yeah. It's, it's yeah. Wow. I, you know, I was talking to JD um, about how we tip, how like mm -hmm. our basic conviction is that, man, we want to honor the Lord by being good stewards and making sure that we represent him well. And right. so I had to, we, I talked to him about uh, what servers make as a minimum wage and how they live off their tips and the amount of tables. And it's interesting because as we're talking about this, these are things that you just learn and pick up in life, right. but I'm having the opportunity to like actually proactively teach him that. And I can see it just opening his eyes, like allowing mm. him to see things maybe in a way he hasn't seen before. You know, I, one of the things I told him is that for you and I, mm -hmm. the service has got to be really bad. Like it's it's got to be for us to to not tip. Like I I may not tip as much as I would tip, right. but I just it's hard for me not to tip someone yeah. to just leave a restaurant, go and out, and not don't give anything. I, I don't know. And I just, I, I don't remember me. the last time somebody didn't get tipped. 
Yeah, that, that's what I told I him. Remember. He asked if we'd ever had a time where we didn't tip someone. And I said, man, I can't remember a time yeah. where we didn't do that. Like, because my, my conviction, our conviction is that if we don't have the money to tip, then mm -hmm. we're not eating in. Like, because the people are serving you, they're, right. they're waiting your table. They are, and you know, tips mean a lot to it means a lot. That's like a, a big portion. Yeah. Them. That's how they make a living. Yeah. And so I just, I don't know. I feel like even with the $25 add on, which, hey. you know, in this economy, you know what I'm saying? $25. <laughs> and you didn't know about it. And man, you didn't I, know. Oh like, my goodness. Ah, Yikes. It might affect something. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying they I wouldn't mean, get a tip, but dude, like when you look at what, what the meals cost <laughs> on this right. ticket. You know, oh, I can see, imagine. So then you say, then you say this cutting and serving the cake cost more than one of the entrees. So that, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, so that just anyway, I don't know. Um, wow. Yeah. Very interesting. Okay. Hey, interesting. speaking of having the opportunity to homeschool, we want to take this time to thank our premier sponsor, BJU Press Homeschool. BJUPressHomeschool.com is the place to go if you're thinking about educating your kids at home. We just talked about the opportunity that we have mm. to be proactive in what our kids learn and to really make sure that they're ready to live in the world. One of the things that we really appreciate about our premier sponsors is that we're not competing against them in biblical worldview. Yeah. They are right on the same page with us. And that page is the word of God, that mm. it is finally authoritative in all of the ways that we live and carry out in this world. And so if that's something that is interesting to you, maybe you've been thinking about what's going on in the world and you really want to see your kid fortified as you educate him or her, maybe consider BJUPressHomeschool.com. They are the premier sponsors of this program. And we're really grateful for the opportunities that we're just now talking about to mm -hmm. be able to see Christ formed in them, to be able to see them equipped in an environment where we know that there's not a competition of ideas. Yeah. Rather, we are on the same page and what we think about God and his character and nature. So check out the premier sponsors of the Culture Proof Podcast, BJUPressHomeschool.com. Make sure you let them know that the Addisons sent you. Mm -hmm. All right, getting back to our news hall. So you've got the woman who gets charged for her cake. Uh, then you've got another woman. This is over in the UK who is convicted of uh, disability fraud. Okay. This woman is convicted of disability fraud. Now, I, I thought this story was hilarious, not because of disability fraud, mm -hmm. but because of the major way that she was convicted. Um, she was being, you know, watched mm. for a long time and <laughs> observed doing things that she claimed she was not able uh, to do. So they're like, she ain't disabled. When she said, my neck and my back. No, I'm kidding. I'm just, <laughs> it was not either of those things. Wow. That's not the story. Here's the story. This is a woman who ran a 5K. A 5K. 5K. A 5K in 27 minutes. Okay. okay which is about average. Which uh -huh. is about average. Uh, 5K is about three miles. Uh -huh. Okay. So she ran a 5K in about 27 minutes. She was jailed for disability benefit fraud. And mm. she should have been. Because it turns out she was collecting money for years. OK, mm. from the fine folks over there wow. uh, in the UK wow. and uh, and she's in London, I want to say she's in London. Wow. And so she was collecting disability for a long time hmm. and uh, she shouldn't have been. Right. So so here's a story. Annette Bond, who has multiple sclerosis. Did I say that right? Multiple mm -hmm. sclerosis. Well, the second again. time, I don't know if you said it right. <laughs> <laughs> the first time, I think. Can you... I just, oh, man? I hate it's Friday. I may just leave this one in. JD loves to keep in bloopers. I don't know. He just likes for us to be embarrassed. But can, let me say something. So first of all, it can be difficult if you're not intentional about saying sclerosis. Yeah. Okay. But then you throw in multiple. If you don't take your time, it's mush mouth. <laughs> opposite, okay. You opposite. <laughs> you, 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 you. Okay. So here mm -hmm. it is. Annette Bond, mm -hmm. who has multiple sclerosis, said mm -hmm. that she could hardly walk, but was filmed by a fraud investigation team running 5K circuits up to four times a week. So she's just. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Listen. Come, like, come on, man. man. Come on, man. man. That, <laughs> it's egregious, right? Man. It is egregious. And in fact, that's <laughs> that's the ruling wow. in her case. 
a benefits cheat who claimed she could barely walk but was secretly filmed completing 5K runs has been jailed for two years mm. after a sheriff described her actions as egregious dishonesty. Annette Vaughn also uh, has been ordered to pay back nearly 70,000 pounds. That's over 88,000 U.S. dollars because she fraudulently, uh, fraudulently, <laughs> just leave it just leave it leave it okay leave it she fraudulently received from taxpayers um money that she was not entitled oh, man, to that, anyway wow. go ahead <laughs> my reaction is come on man like, yeah like yeah. really like wow you know so that there is a boldness that mm -hmm. that she has because she never thought that they would be watching her no a 5k you gonna run you gonna run a 5k yeah for and she was practicing and training for this like she was doing this four times a week four times a week That's so bold. they would she, they she... would sit out in front of her house okay the authorities would sit wow. out in front of her house and they would watch her leave her house and she would start with a brisk walk then when she turned the corner mm -hmm. she started a run which authorities say took her off like paved ground and into mm. like forested area where she was running on multiple types of terrain, they said, wow. and doing so her claims were that she could not walk unassisted and that she needed a cane. Wow. And they're like, and you are running, yo. <laughs> running on all types of terrain. Yes, for sure. Oh and so goodness. anyway, and, and doing it in the best possible way. One of the things wow. that I thought was really interesting about this as they made their case against her and she's guilty. You know, she yes. said, now she said that they caught her when she was, you know, at her best, like that, you know, they, they caught her in times of like having really good health, but she was running like four times a week. Yeah, and they were watching her for a span of time. For years. Like, They've so been it's watching not, her do it, this. It's not, man. The, the other thing is wow. they got mama involved and her mama even said that she was so proud of her daughter's progress and how healthy she had become. Which I don't know. I feel like if if I'm a net, now I'm trying to think as a cheat here. But if I'm a net, it's like no, mom, mom, no, mom. <laughs> I'm just so proud of my baby because oh. you know she has gotten out and she's been able to run, and I'm so proud. And she just started running. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Forrest. <laughs> I just kept running. I just kept running. Anyway, oh so she had to pay the money back. Um, yeah. You know, they said not only was she running, you know, these five Ks. Uh, four times a week, but they also filmed her or caught her dancing at a Christmas party. <laughs> man, she is. <laughs> man. I'm like... sorry. Yeah. So anyway, oh, the fraud wow. is not funny, but I'm a visual person. So when I see this woman who mm -hmm. says that she can't walk unassisted and that she needs a cane, you know, one of the, I think the sheriff who testified against her, Sheriff w William Wood, testified against her. And he said, quote, you rarely used a stick. You were able to get around the workplace unaided. You could negotiate uh, stairs and you were able to dance at a Christmas function. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. You know, I just, anyway, this... Yeah, I mean, what are it you just saying? shows like, it just shows that the hood also exists in London. <laughs> right. Like I feel like because that's you know, if you know, you know, man. Okay, that like is that crazy. is that is you know. So anyway, wow. um, two wow. years is that is that the right penalty, or is that stiff? <laughs> should she just pay back the money, or should she spend some time in jail? What do you think? Man, definitely have to pay back the money. Yeah, for sure. I feel like there, there needs to be a little bit more, like. I'm not trying to be more money or no, more time. time. Like, you think more than two years? Well, no, no. I think that may be good enough, but it can't just be just the money. Like okay, like I, I don't know, man. Paying back the money, I think would would be a big part of it. She has that money to pay back like that. I it, unless well, oh, like, this is man, this know? is sad. Unless she saved, like what she was. <laughs> I don't, but if she's doing that, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I wow. don't know if she saved. You wow. know. To be know, able to do that. Yeah, I don't know. So I, I wouldn't think she did, but I don't know. All right. So anyway, that's that's, that's, why, that's pretty wild. Yeah. Okay. All right. Wow. We're on force. Uh anyway. Uh, Friday okay. hall. News Friday, <laughs> Friday news hall. Yeah. It just shows that ratchet exists, you know, all Everywhere. around the world. Because it's <laughs> sinfulness. It that's is. at the root of that's what a lot is. of the ratchetness. Mm. Oh, that's profound. So, you know. I discern that as a message in your future. <laughs>
<laughs> the sin that underpins the ratchetness of yes. our society. Yes. Um, okay, five second rule. My question for you before mm. we even get into this story. Five second rule. <laughs> are you a believer? Do you believe <sighs> in the five second rule? Because that's, National Geographic has a study that's, out. That's very nuanced because it depends it? on what it is that has fallen. Man, you are brilliant, <laughs> dude. I don't, I mean, you're just hitting on all cylinders today. I don't know if it's like birthday blessings coming uh, yeah. down, like, you know, when the praises More maturity, go up, I mean, 48, my goodness, um, you know, it's, like it's looking good on happened. you. Like, that is exactly what the scientist found. Okay. You know, and the reason <laughs> I am like, so when I'm reading these articles and I'm thinking about what I'm going to throw out at you, you know, I'm processing them myself. Uh -huh. Okay. But I'm throwing these out to you yeah. like yeah. right here on site. Right. All right. right. And so when I hear you and I know you haven't read the article right. and I'm like, dude, what is this? Like velvet? Like he's just like, I mean, you know, but see with that, the five second, I've thought about that. Though. Okay. Like, there's certain things, no, the five second rule don't apply to this. Okay, let me I hear cannot. an example from you because I'm curious to know how close you get to what the studies. Yeah, found. And it, it, I may be totally off from what they're saying. That's okay. But there's certain things that I feel like, okay, that's that's a, that's good. That's good. Things that would be sticky, like Ooh. things that would, you know, you fall on the ground, you know, it's going to be like, yeah. <laughs> Give me, do you have like an example? To, like, okay. Like candy or okay. like something that would so, be, okay. you know, like, that's so um, interesting. Well, certain candies, like candies that would like sticky stuff, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. if that falls, mm, it's out because you know that it grabbed mm, what was near it. Yeah, they got something on it. Yeah, <laughs> something on yeah there. for sure. <laughs> Some more demons they, over there. Yeah, right. yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but things that would be, you know, drier and, you know, you yeah. Know, oh, Hurry up and pick so, that up. So but my that, okay. So my now, question, so I don't know what their assessment is, but that's I thought about that. Like there's certain things so good. that you know. That's really smart. So I am I am just as like a blanket. I've got to be really desperate. Right, you don't have a five second rule. No, I don't. Like, have I, a five, I don't, I'm like it fell on the floor. It's out of bounds. That's it. It's I'm done. like that's it. Kill it. It's, it's done. done. And. Yeah. I've got to be really desperate. Like, and I'm trying to think of times where I have the last been peace or and it's like, it's gotta be the last piece of something that I got from Nigeria <laughs> that like, I can't get it again. You know what I mean? Like a friend sent right, me this piece right. of something and, and it's like, I don't know. It's, it's gotta be extenuating, extenuating circumstances. Right, it's like, be. it's gotta be like water from Jerusalem. I don't know. And, and I, I was going to take my last up. sip. I'm right. just I, right. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. I just feel like if it hits the floor, that's the Lord's way of telling me you're done. You have had enough. <laughs> and then it depends on the floor. It can't be a floor outside of this house. Man, like at the hospital. <laughs> you it know can't be saying? a floor like, outside of this house. Like, I don't, like, even the floor, this house, it's like, mm, hey, ho, whoa, 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 whoa. hold up. I'm, I'm just saying, question the boy like, on blast. <laughs> <laughs> hang on, you were having a good no, birthday. Just, <laughs> you, it, was, it was going well just, for you. Don't mess it up. My goodness. I'm just saying, you know, like, Man, this wow, would be the... even this floor. Like, no. whoa! <laughs> Cut the tape, man. Let's let's no, talk about no, this and mean, run it back. I mean it. Like, I just mean wow. You know, outside of this house, <laughs> floors, ground, but, especially. But you clearly like, said even this house. But like, <laughs> so I just want the record. I, I think twice. Even this, I'm like, mm, all right, you know. But anyway, what I'm and saying. And let me also <laughs> hold up. <laughs> okay. Um, just to, you know, oh, let me also oh, say man. that the even this house comes in because of your children. Yeah, especially okay. because of them. That's a, that, um, no, solely because <laughs> <laughs> solely because prior oh, to man. your children yeah, yeah. taking you're right, over you're right, our you're spaces, right, you're, right, you're right. We could have right. like eaten four course meals <laughs> on our floors because they were that clean. But you wouldn't have let us. Be no. Even still, I'm even sorry. Still. Like, this is a moot point because I'm just not eating off the floor. Like I just, I just, people know this about me. You know this about yeah. me. I am a germ phobe to the max. Okay. Yeah. I'm like, if it can be washed, wash it. Yeah. If your hands are dirty. I just always assume your hands are dirty. Just, <laughs> and I just tell you yeah. that five second rule has changed over the years for me from being married to you like i don't do that as much at, at all like that's it has to be like you said it has to be like a desperate situation yeah. where it's like ah oh, yeah you know um your last but, keto chip right because you know the keto <laughs> chips are not everywhere it's like it's a special bag oh, my man. last keto chip man i gotta eat it like our kids for the most part well i won't say all of them because some of them have like they, they have that but <laughs> the, the boys they're like 
Yeah, it's doing good. <laughs> they haven't adopted that. Uh, Listen, that, that rule. They have like a twenty second rule. They're oh like, my goodness! They're down there. Oh, oh man, this they was have down a twenty four hour. Like, rule. It was down there. Yeah, like yesterday. Twenty four hour. Eat? I Get have. That. <laughs> <laughs> man, that's been on the floor since Tuesday. <laughs> like, what is... <laughs> okay, I understand what you're doing, but you don't realize what you're doing. I understand the point that you're making, and it's a great point. But in like, making that point, Dad, what I are found you? This behind Stop. my bed. Please. Like, <laughs> Is it still good? I'm like, man, what? Oh my <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> oh, okay, man. listen. Just two weeks ago, just I'm gonna bring you guys into our life. Okay, you're talking about a five second rule. <laughs> just two weeks oh, ago, boy. we go into the littles room. Mm, okay. You don't know what you're gonna find. No. Never. <laughs> never ever ever and sometimes it's frightening okay mm. sometimes it's frightening <laughs> don't go in the closet oh, don't go in the closet so man. anyway we go in and um i don't know what we were doing but but we go in and all of a sudden you know we see one black ant because there have to be a reason you go into that yeah room that's like not that. a place that you go for vacation like, right you don't go you there to hang out something you know yeah, I, yeah. There's a, there's <laughs> definitely a purpose involved in going into that room. So I go in and I see one black ant, and then um, I'm like, "Whoa, okay." There's another black ant, mm -hmm. and then you pull a bed forward, and you you see a family mm. of ants, mm -hmm. and then you're like, "What is going on? How are they getting in here?" Because right, it's a well, bedroom, right? Right. So like, you would think if you saw like a trail of ants in your kitchen, you'd be mm -hmm. like, "Okay, they found something." And it's a bedroom. So you just don't, you're like, no, there's right. no reason for that. Well, anyway, pull the bed forward. And where are all of these ants living? And they, they mm. have, they have been on holiday <laughs> for a long time. Oh boy. You just know Rollo sent out the shot. He was like, yeah. <laughs> he's like, yo, y'all, mm. it's a condo. It's got many different compartments. <laughs> like, <laughs> because what I found back there was an ego. <laughs> a, an, an ego waffle okay mm. uh not to be dropping brands because they ain't running no sponsorships <laughs> okay but i'm just saying i just need you to come into my world here behind mm -hmm. the bed timmy. and it has to be it was timmy, timmy. it was a three-year-old <laughs> it was because he's the one who eats these little it's the little minis the little mm. squares and he's eating this and it's behind his bed and it is hard as a rock, which didn't stop the ants. Right. They were like, man, you got to want it. Yeah, we like it crunchy. We <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, a little well done is good. I mean, you know. <laughs> so oh. anyway, so we had to deal with that. But that's to the point of like you said, <laughs> forget about the five second rule. Wow. I don't know when that oh. ego was put there. Right. Okay. I don't know when it dropped. You know, I don't know <laughs> why it was there. I don't know. <sighs> Um, but anyway, that's that's what we're dealing with. Yeah. And so it's that's true. Now, the thing is, now, that ego, mm -hmm. okay, Timmy would not have eaten. No. However, if it had been a piece of candy oh, that he gone. found oh. in the crevice of... Oh, look what I found. <clears throat> <laughs> my lucky Ooh, day. happy day. <laughs> Man. Oh, my <laughs> anyway, goodness. Anyway, all right. So all right. according to this article, we went way off the rails. Way off. We don't even know what they say. Um, I won't, yeah, they say that the five second rule basically i'll just jump to the end of it they say the five second rule is something that people use to make themselves feel better because they really just want to eat off the floor <laughs> now the yeah, thing is right. they say that the transfer of germs and bacteria from from the floor to an item depends on that item yeah. so if you've got like a cookie something that's dry you know it's going to take a little bit longer for mm. germs to transfer to that so you're probably safe to eat it mm. they say if you've got like the floor of a hospital nothing Why you don't they, put anything oh, in your on, mouth man. off the floor in a house do that oh man i just okay anyway. you know anyway yeah <laughs> if okay so yes i just don't understand that okay so anyway <laughs> right. so but then they say it also depends on the the texture of the item so something that is moist mm -hmm. right and yeah. this is kind of what you're alluding yeah, to right. it's going to pick up more bacteria quickly than something that's dry right. so like they used in their example, a slice of watermelon. So you've mm. got, that's moist. It's, it's mm -hmm. wet. It falls. Mm. Of course, it's going to grab like, yeah, no, 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 let I me tell you that, something. That's a, yeah. If you, me, dog. if you are picking something up off the floor <laughs> <clears throat> and it continues to slip out of your finger. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, if, I, if, I, if you're I, picking I, something, dead yeah, giveaway. Yeah, yeah that's that's, giveaway. Yes, you know. Charles, that, that tells you right there you, know the you can't use it. 
if you're you know what i'm talking about yeah, that you, thing where you're trying to pick it up and it just like, keeps slipping oh, out of your hands throw that away give it up go give ahead it throw up. that away get a paper towel bring in reinforcements and then just give it up it's you done. know it's so done. this article said this national geographic article said that based on what they found in lab studies uh if a if an odd item is dry you know, it's not going to pick up bacteria as quickly. If it's moist, then yes, it's going to pick up bacteria. And so you don't want to be putting that in your mouth. Now, does it help? This is something that, you know, we used to do. I don't do it too much anymore. Please don't say it. But like, don't pick say it up and blow it off. Oh, my goodness. Okay. That's. <laughs> does that, does that, did they say anything about that? <laughs> Blowing it off. That, that, let uh, me, let me scroll down. <laughs> Let me let me see what's in this article here. Oh, here it is. If you blow off an item, it's like you cover your eyes and believe someone can't see you. Oh, it does answer your question. Yeah. It says it's ridiculous. I mean, you know, it makes sense in your mind. Like, just blow it off. You know, it's all good. Just yeah. blow the bacteria off. No, uh, the, I think I, I, work. Wow. They say this man, they, they who they rule our lives, okay? <laughs> that 99% of the time, it's probably safe to eat something that has just fallen on the wow, floor really that's a quickly. High percentage. Okay. That changed the game. Yeah. Did that um, change your mindset? In, no. In the, at all? <laughs> oh my goodness. 99% no. of the time. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. I mean, that's, that's pretty. No. Yeah. No, especially because I feel like I can't control the environment, even in my own home. Mm -hmm. I feel like I can't control the environment of our floors. Like I, I think, you know, when our kids were really, really little and even, you know, I don't know, I guess before we had kids, we could say if we take our shoes off or mm -hmm. we're going to keep this space clean, I feel like I could give an account for what was on my floor. Yeah. But now I feel like I can't do that because even though we try to take our shoes off when we come inside, the little kids don't do that. Like uh. they just, they're in here and it's like, where have you been? And they're like, oh, over on the mud pile. <laughs> walking in or it's like, man, on. what does that smell? It's like, what did you step in? Mm. <laughs> Everybody's had that <sighs> happen before. So yeah. I just feel like, you know, and it doesn't matter. Like I, <clears throat> yes. contrary to what Will the Great just communicated, <laughs> I'm, I mop my floors. <laughs> I didn't. <clears throat> oh, okay. Especially this. Floor. Like, <laughs> I didn't say you know, especially this floor. <clears throat> what did you say? <laughs> oh no, no, you're right. You didn't say especially. You say or even. Yeah. Or, that's what you said with that inflection, by the way. <laughs> or even this floor. Anyway, <sighs> let me pause for a second to say if you enjoy this podcast and you really appreciate what's coming from us, would you please leave a review of the podcast? Would you also give it a five star rating if you're listening on Apple? It helps the podcast to grow. Um, and that means a lot to us. You know, we understand that there are certain podcasts that can be boosted and pushed out because of the response to it. And so if you want to see Culture Proof grow and see us do more podcasts, maybe not like this episode. <clears throat> <laughs> I want the hard, hidden, heavy, hidden. <laughs> I just saved your life by talking about the five second rule. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if you want more life giving podcasts mm -hmm. like this one, then make sure to leave a review and share it with a friend if it means anything to you. Also, know that you can connect with us by going to cultureproof.net, sign That's up right. for our newsletter. That way, if we're ever kicked off a platform for, <laughs> you know, spreading salmonella. <laughs> you can find us. You can find us. Yes. So anyway, cultureproof.net is where you will connect with us. All right. Do we have time for one more story. All right, one more. All right, this story I thought was kind of sad and I wasn't mm. sure what category to put it in, but in light of a, a post that we had on Facebook where I um, I posted about a uh, a snippet, I posted a snippet of a, the movie from Boss Baby 2, Back in oh, Business, yeah. okay? Yeah, yeah. Which again, Facebook pushed that out. And so it, it brought out people that, <laughs> don't know us and and don't know what we do and yeah. so man so much trolling but it, it's one of those snippets you'll just have to go to our facebook page and mm -hmm. and see it there but it was talking about i, I used it as a way to talk about homeschooling mm -hmm. something that we're huge advocates for right mm -hmm. we love homeschooling so anyway um people said to us that when you homeschool you you know you can't give an account for how the kids are being cared for so kids basically somebody on facebook said that you need to have your kids out in public school because the public schools become mandatory reporters and that's how we can tell if kids are being abused and things like that. <laughs> and what's crazy is that I also follow libs of TikTok uh, on, on X and Instagram. Mm -hmm. And so they have all of these stories just in the last week about predators who have been discovered in the public school system, these child predators, child mm. sexual predators. Yeah. And so I'm thinking, Oh, like these people, you know what I mean? It's like, look at 
the homeschoolers with skepticism, but just give the public school system or the government school system, you know, perfect acceptance and trust. Right. It just, it makes no sense to me. So anyway, I came across this story and I thought, man, this is so sad. This is out of Minneapolis, mm -hmm. um, a kindergartner. Mm -hmm. On May 9th, a kindergartner was drugged by one of her classmates. She was given a piece of candy that obviously was poisoned or laced with something. This is kindergarten, kindergarten. Wow. And what happened is that the girl got so immediately sick that her mom was called and she had to be rushed to the emergency room. She began hallucinating. Um, her pupils were dilated. She didn't recognize her mom. She's a twin. She didn't recognize her twin brother. And then when she came to in the emergency room and they were trying to get answers from her, she said, one of her classmates had given her a piece of candy and then said, after she ate it, said to her, ha ha, I pranked you. I pranked you. Like it's, oh, it's bad. Wow. It's bad. And so, you know, I read <clears throat> this and I'm going, wow. So yeah, that's right. We want to make sure that we have our kids in the classrooms. And, right. and, look, and I'm not saying that that means that this happens in all classrooms, right. but I mean, this is, this is extreme, yeah, right? That's very extreme. And like you're right, uh, I'm not saying that this will happen in every classroom, but in the classroom at your home, this Come on. won't happen. Right. Like, man, right. that's so you said uh, kindergarten. So five. Yes. Five years old, six oh years goodness. old. Yeah. Yeah. Somewhere in that age range. Oh, that's so sad. You know, um, and so what's going on at the kid's house? <laughs> who that, brought the candy? Who brought the candy? My goodness. Come on. You know, it's like, man, you're giving out this because the, the kid got it from somewhere. Yeah. You know, that it was laced with this stuff or whatever. Is that that's a sad situation. It's very that's sad. sad very sad. The mom actually filmed mm -hmm. the little girl. Um, just as evidence and it, at different points in the video shows her shaking. Mm. Um, the mom was thinking that maybe she was having seizures. Um, she had trouble walking. Um, her oh, behavior goodness. was just bizarre, even to wow. the, the, the emergency room uh, physicians. Like I don't know what this child had and they still, they have not released, I guess what you would call toxicology reports. Like we don't know what was in her system and the school is not talking about it because they say she's a minor Okay, understand, but it also is very convenient to not right. have to talk about it. But you just like what was in the candy, right? You gotta, and how did you the other five year old get it? Oh my goodness, to bring it to school, there has to be, and I'm sure they will do a uh, uh, in depth investigation. There has to be one done. On here. That's, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah, wow. she said that the, the classmate said, um, she pranked me after she ate the candy. Ha, just kidding. Then she says, uh, and I'm quoting here, they're poisonous candies. And the little girl said, my body was hurting. And yeah, it was scary. That's mm. the kindergartner. Oh, man. That's Kindergarten? Sad. Like, you know, you think about your babies. Wow. So anyway, wow. like, that's my my cap <laughs> off because we did have a week where people were pushing back on our advocacy for homeschooling. Yeah. <laughs> Viva la homeschool. Like, I mean, come on. Like, <laughs> man, that, that, And that's just wow. one example. One right? example. Do we have something funny to end off with? Oh, is that too heavy? No, okay. no, I'm, I'm just playing. We can no, end there. No, we do. I do. You know? I do. I have one. I do have. Man, that's, <laughs> that's upsetting. One you more know? story. Let me see if I can find it here. That is upsetting, man. We Five, six years old. And, you know, that that peer-to-peer -peer stuff is very, um, you, you have to take into consideration that aspect of things. You know, um, things happen. Through peer groups, and I'm, and look, we're not advocates for bubble living. No, not but at, at the all. Same time, like, come on, man, like this, yeah. Oh, actually, I thought I had something. Oh, I don't worry about. We can, we, we can. It, that that's. We should end on a sober note. That's that's that's. Are that's you sure? Cool. Yeah, I'm fine. Because I can end by asking you a question. No, no, no we're good. <laughs> Is that too heavy? Oh, now no, I feel no, horrible. No, 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 no. That's fine. That's fine. I think we have to think about that. Uh, especially, like you said, in light of us posting on Facebook and <laughs> people just berating it, like, oh, you know, you know, don't not understanding where we're coming from and who we are. But this that's an issue that I feel like you got to take seriously as a parent. Yeah, you know, and you got to know uh, where you you're sending your your child to, and that these things could happen. Mm -hmm. Not not that they will happen everywhere that you know you go, but these are the types of things that could happen. And do you want that? Yeah. You know? Yeah. So. Man, I feel bad though, because you are usually like, you know, 
fun Friday. So, so, <laughs> so I feel like, and, and I, not that I thought this story was funny, but I thought it was just a bizarre story. Like it's it, one of those, it just like bizarre. it's a headline that I grabbed, but I didn't, you know, consider <laughs> all of the ways that it would take us down. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, my last question for oh, you. Come on. Okay. And then truth be told, I hope we edit some of this out. Okay. <laughs> like I kind of, I kind of hope that some of it doesn't make the cut. Um, but here's my question. So what are your Friday plans? Just, it's your birthday. You're 48 years old today. Getting pretty old. Wow. Uh, I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so what are your I don't, plans? I don't have today? plans, honestly. You know, like, I, you know, I'm not a, I don't do like a lot of stuff like that. So, you know, whatever happens, I'm cool with, you know, whatever we do, that's fine. If we just chill out, that's fine. Because our lives are, are busy, man. It's so busy full. life. It's so so when, it, when, it, when it's chill time and it's kind of like, we don't have to do much. That's mm -hmm. fine. So yeah, I don't have a uh, high expectation. Yes. But I just praise God for another year. So I will say this last thing. One of the things I'm looking forward to that I always look forward to is once we, you know, have an opportunity to celebrate a birthday is that there will be either cake or pedophores. Yes. And so I'm really super excited <laughs> that pedophores are coming your way. Yeah. Um, I have to say though, because our baker is on vacation <laughs> and because you can mess up pedophores and you can <laughs> and being from new orleans we have a certain way we like to have uh, our cake standard yeah. uh she is the only baker for yeah. us from now on or from whenever <laughs> on and uh so anyway she was out of town so we're not going to get the pedophores for today but um we'll have them on monday yeah and that's fine with me and 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 i asked you are you willing to wait Yes. Are you willing to wait? Willing to wait. And that just tells you how good this baker, <laughs> this baker is. Yes. We're yes. willing to wait. Looking forward to it. All right. When you resist those cultural trends that rival the truth, you remain culture proof. Until next time, Lord willing. God bless.